Heads, welcome back to BZB TV. This is Nate back here from the support team bringing you another video. And today we're in, obviously you can see we're in our lobby. And today we're gonna be talking about our brand new web interface for our VP 4K series. That is the three in one multi viewer matrix and video wall processor. This is a fan favorite. And we wanted to update our web interface to be even more user friendly, easy to use, more customized, and uh, just a lot easier for you, the end user consumer integrator whatever it may be just uh, using it over the web and make it even smoother for you and so we went ahead and did that so for today's demonstration we actually applied it to our vp44 pro that is the one with h4 hdmi out and then four hdmi extenders over cat 6 so you can have mirror outputs for long distances uh, but we changed the interface for that so let's go ahead and dive in so first actually let's go over our setup as you can see we have it set up here on our two by two video wall our first we have four sources our first is our media player second is our fire stick with just some youtube playing uh third is our ps5 right behind me got some spider-man and lastly we have a apple tv going with some ted lasso um, as you can see it's running pretty smooth already um, setup is really easy and actually uh, first after i plugged it all in i actually networked the unit so i could talk to it on the laptop we have videos on how to do that as well but it's nice you can just go into the menu there push some buttons just hit the menu config network DHCP turn it on put it on your network pull the IP address and you're good to go um, I actually did that so I'm actually gonna go ahead and log in and let's have some fun all right so as you can see we are logged into our interface I got the IP address from the unit now I'm gonna password is admin not capitalize admin I could type admin and boom here we go. What's great is on the main page you have, you can go straight to the manual and go to the product on our website. It has all the tech information right here, IP address, model, firmware, uh, MAC address, all that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and dive in with some configs. You got your modes, um, like I mentioned, this is a three in one. You got matrix, video wall, and multi-viewer. So first things first, um, as you can see, let's go to matrix switcher, but as you can see, I already went and labeled my inputs. I got BZB gear, Fire Stick, PS5, and Apple TV. Um, so as you can see, it's kind of in the uh, in point to point mode, one to one, two to two, three to three, four to four. Um, so you can here on this page, you can drag and drop, make it easy. If I want to do all BZB gear, it is seamless. So it switches really quick. I can do the Fire Stick and so forth. And then there's a grid view, which makes it even easier where you just click on it and it switches the units. Matrix is really fast and really smooth. And if I want to do all the inputs, I just select this, toggle this on. Let's do the Fire Stick, PS5, Apple TV. Or if I want to go back to my point to point, there's a little button right here, toggle it on and boom. That's how easy the matrixing is. Um, and also up here is all your presets. So if I want to do some presets, for example, if I want to just do say, hey, I want all fire sticks. So I do that. I'm going to label it all fire. Let's do that. Save. And so down here, you can call the preset right here. But also, there's a whole preset section for each of the matrix multi-viewer and video wall. So you go to preset, as you can see, matrix right here, fire, all fire, all fire stick right there. You could call it, you could clear it, and then you can call all your other presets right here. So really uh, very user friendly with all the different presets. You could just sit, create all your presets for everything and just sit on this page if you wanted to. Um, so that's the matrix page, really easy. I'm gonna go back to my point to point and let's dive into video wall. Here's pretty cool. So I'm gonna click on our two by two. So you get, as you can see, we have some pre-configured wall, uh, video wall formats already. So it's pretty, pretty standard two by two um, video wall. We got our Ted Lasso, but if I want to change it to a PPS five, I just go ahead and drag and drop and boom, there it is. How about by going back to Apple TV? There we go. And then back to this. There you go. And then we also have a preset uh, one by two. So if you, as you can see, there's a uh, one by two at the top there and then the matrix at the bottom. Or if I wanna do like a 
uh, one by two, one by two. So two, two by one video walls. Obviously they're a little stretched because you're taking a 16 by nine image and stretching across two screens. So you, this is more meant for custom, custom, custom content. But if I wanted to change it, um, so you can see I have outputs one and two right here. So if I want to put a different output on the top there, I just drag the fire stick. And then if I want to select the, uh, put the different output or different input on the bottom there, I could change the output. So I click on TV one, we'll go output three and then TV four, output four, and then let's put, make this, how about BZB gear? And boom, there you go. That's how you switch it. You just gotta make sure you switch your outputs here um, to switch it. And what's great is if I wanted to, uh, let's say I, because I only have spots for three to four custom video walls, if I want to delete it, I, I could go ahead and click on the delete. It's going to ask you, hey, do you want to save this as a preset? Sure, I'll, I'll save it at preset one, I'll hit save, and boom. So it deleted it, but if I click on here, you can see that it saved as a preset already. Now I can add another video wall if I wanted to, if I wanted to do like a two by one instead of one by by two, you do two by one. I'm gonna hit save. As you can see, I gotta format the TVs, but you get the idea. So I wanna just do a fire stick, but I can make TV three part of that and drop the fire stick on there. And then you got your two by one and you got that, you could call it right here. But I know a lot of people are, are gonna be more using the two by two video wall. So there you go, I just clicked on it. And you can save this as a preset. So if I want to say, hey, um, how about BZB gear wall, which is already set to, I'm going to save this as preset two. I'm going to hit save BZB gear wall, walk, wall, boom, save. And then as you can see in our preset section here, it's right there. Um, so, and then I want to go back to the fire sticks. I hit call, boom. Sometimes it, it kind of might flash when it's going between processing of between video wall and matrix. Um, but there you go, all that. And then I'll go back to the wall and boom. There we go. Just switching, make sure everything's good to go. Ted Lasso's over. I'll go back to point to point. And lastly, our multi-viewer as you can see we have all the kind of pre-configured multi-viewers um, we got two by two right here so it's going to take a sec to configure and there you go and you have all that you have all the different multi-viewers right here the different layouts three by one uh, let's see here click on that and you can see one's bigger and then you got the other three on the right. If I, if I want to change the sources, you just drag and drop. So I can switch them around. Let's say BZB gear here, PS5 here, something like that. Really easy. Um, so multi-viewer as well is uh, right there at your fingertips. Also, there's an advanced section which is coming soon. This is kind of preliminary, just how easy the matrix video wall multi-viewer. Uh, advanced section is gonna allow some more customization, but that's coming soon. So be ready, for, be on the lookout for that. Uh, presets, we already went over that. You got your status here, you got your inputs, you can see the resolution coming in, as well as the audio, HGCP or not, the different colors, and then you got your outputs here. This is um, the TVs that are connected to the color and the audio. Uh, which is great is this is where you do, you could label all your inputs right here, you could turn the video feeds off or change your EDID. And then lastly is our outputs. You can label your TVs if you want. You could, uh, this is where you actually can do audio extraction, audio matrixing, which is great. But I know for a lot of people who have um, doing a two by two video wall, uh, I know you hang your TVs upside down to, to thin, uh, the thin out that bezel. So we go to our video wall here, go back to our matrix here. Or I'm sorry, go back to our video wall preset. And then 
we're gonna go to our output settings and there's a rotate button. So really easy to, this is actually something that was missing from the, the first round was the ability to flip the, to flip the TVs over in the web interface. You only could do it in the menu, but now you can do it in the interface. So you can see on the right here, you got rotation. So right away, flip the two TVs over, boom, you're good to go. If I wanna flip them all over for some reason, you can do that too. I don't know why, usually the top two TVs are flipped. So you imagine those TVs flipped over, then your bezel and you're rocking and rolling. Lastly, you got your system here. If you wanna turn DHCP on or off and you can factory set, reboot, um, all the normal user uh, options there. And then, it, then you can log out. And that's how easy it is. So as you can see, this is a great, fantastic update. Like I said, I mentioned, really user-friendly, really easy to uh, maneuver around, customize if you need to, go through all your presets, drag and drop, seamless switching. Um, so we're really excited to uh, be releasing this very soon. So check it out. If you have any questions, feel free to reach to us at support, leave them in the comments below, or hit up one of our sales associates. I'm sure they'd love to answer any of your questions about how this will be a great fit for you. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to videos like these so you'll be notified when more of these videos come out. And as always, have a great day.